Right, just as sort of a, an addition to this, what we're going to add now is a proper HUD, because at the moment, when we're running around, we get this 1020 flavor, and it's just, you know, it's a bit rubbish, it's a bit debug. Um, so we want a proper HUD, HUD to go onto the screen, so it'll, it'll take the value of us collecting our score and put it into a nice, a bit more visual for us. So what we'll do, in our Blueprints folder, if, you, if you're somewhere else, you should have made this Blueprints folder, uh, right-click again, and right at the bottom is User Interface. Uh, we want a widget blueprint, this one here. So we click on that, I'm going to call this HUD. So we, we know that's, that's the HUD. We can double click it, and it will load up this new interface you've probably not seen before. Uh, and think of this here, this big rectangle, that's your screen. And at the moment it's rendering at 720, that's fine. Um, what we're going to add is down here where it says panel. We're going to drag a horizontal box in, over to here. And I'm going to grab one text box, and put it inside the box, zoom in a little bit, and I'm going to grab another text box and put that inside the box. And this text box is going to have the word uh, score, colon, space. Um, that's come out weird, but that's fine. And this text box is going to have zero in it. There you go. And it's all very small. I didn't want text box, I want text. Yes, I'm an idiot. Right, use text, sorry. One there, and there. And the text box should be score. That's the right here, colon space. And this should be just a zero. Cool. That's better. Okay, sorry about that. Um, yeah, if you highlight these as well, if you can control click, select more than one. Um, you can do things like, there's only one font installed at the moment, um, but you can change the, the font size, so 36. Um, you need to make sure that you up the actual horizontal box as well, where it's going to live. I'd also highlight the whole thing, uh, control click, and the box there, and, oh, let's take this, sorry, and anchor it to the top left, so it will always live in the top left hand side of the screen, it won't, if you're at different resolutions, it won't get moved around. Um, okay, that's fine. Um, let's compile and save that. If we play, it doesn't show though. It's not there, it's not on our screen. So what we need to do is escape the game. If you're in there, go to Blueprints, Level Blueprint. And this is the thing that loads every time the level is loaded. And we wanna right click and say, begin play. So when we start playing, we want to uh, widget, Create a widget, that's it. And the widget, because remember we made a HUD widget, the widget is the HUD. And we want to add to the viewport. So we want to add this to the viewport, join these little blue things up. And I think that's it. Let's have a look what happens now. So if we play, there we are, because you score and zero. Awesome. And that's gonna that's our HUD. It's joined onto the screen now. But if I run in again, it's still not working because we need to do a little bit of code in the HUD. So the one, the value we want to change, it's not the score, it's zero, isn't it? We want that thing to change. And on the right hand side here, you've got con, you've got text and zero, there's a word called bind. If I click on that and say create a binding, this will load this little screen up. And I'm gonna drag this out a little bit. If you hold Alt on your keyboard and click, that deletes the, the actual link between them. And like before, we're going to cast, cast to the third person, brilliant, and we are going to call the score, we want to get the score, we want to join that to there, and that's it, that's pretty much, well nearly it, um, this object needs to have a join, we're going to say player pawn, so what's it connected to, it's connected to the player, third person character, we're getting the score, it's converting that into a string again, and putting that out there. Compile it, save it, you might get a little error here, but that's fine. And if we now play, let's see what happens. Oh, oh, and the score's going up. Awesome. Um, quick bit of cleanup. If you go back to BP coin, delete this print string. So just drag around them, delete on the keyboard, bring the destroy back actor back in, and then Compile and save. 
and play. So now when we collect, that goes up. There you go, give that a go. Uh, see if you can make a maze or something, we have to collect certain items. Um, see if you want to look into maybe a score system or a time, no, sorry, a health system or a time system and see how you go. That's literally creating one variable. You might have a thing where you collect something and it takes off points or it takes off health or you might, what is a health system? Let's see, maybe we'll do that next, but there you go, enjoy.